Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Cam here. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to remove our lens, clean our lens, or replace our lens on our XT or XRF one laser. We're also going to discuss how to clean our laser nozzle so we can get rid of all that dust and debris that gets caked up at the end. So jumping right into it, we are going to remove our cover and we're going to remove the magnetic block. Now, if you have the XRF, your lens is going to be mounted on the top. If you have the XT, like I have, your lens is going to be mounted on the bottom. So to remove the lens, again, mine's here on the bottom, you have to loosen that retainer that's holding the lens in. So I have a couple tools here that will help me do that. Now, I have a steel, a thin steel ruler, right, that will fit right in those notches, or I have a pair of snap ring pliers. Now, it's easier for me to control the the ruler so I don't accidentally scratch the lens, but you're gonna wanna be careful and then get it to fit directly in those slots. And then you're just gonna to wanna to break that tightness. So add a little pressure and then it's loose. From there, you can simply just spin the retainer out. So now that the lens is out, say we want to clean it, we can grab our swab here, put this down, and we can grab our isopropyl alcohol. Now the preference is 99% isopropyl alcohol. If you have 91%, that's fine, but we're just going to dip it in there. We're going to grab our lens and we're just going to clean it. So again, I have the X-T1 laser. So my stock lens has a two inch focal length and the diameter of this lens is 20 millimeters. So if I wanna replace the lens, I have to have another 20 millimeter diameter lens. Now in this case, I do have a replacement. It is 20 millimeters in diameter and it is also two inch focal length. So the trick to installing this correctly it has to be round side up, but the trick to know if you're installing it correctly is you'll be able to see your reflection. So you can't really see my head, but you can see the camera right there. And that's how you know that you're installing it right because it has to be round side up. So in the laser head, it has to be round side up, right? So this is the bottom of the lens holder. So we're just gonna drop it in there like such and then we're just gonna install the retainer until it's tight. Take our ruler, cinch it down, and we're good to go. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that if you're just cleaning your lens and you don't wanna remove it from the lens holder, all you have to do is pull it out, grab your Q-tip, get some isopropyl alcohol, Clean the top, clean the bottom, and you're back in business. So the last thing I wanna cover is cleaning the end of your laser nozzle. Now you don't have to remove it, but I'm just gonna show you for this video. Simply unscrews here, it's righty loosey, okay? Now if we zoom in here and you look up this close, mine is really clean, but the more you cut and engrave, since these laser nozzles, since they autofocus pretty close to the top of your workpiece, the more you cut and engrave, that dust and debris from that workpiece is actually going to accumulate at the end of this laser nozzle. So in order to clean it, I actually take a baby wipe and I just reach down under there and I wipe it up every single day. Okay, if you don't do that, you can risk accumulation and it actually can impede on how your laser fires through that opening because it could start blocking off that opening or even in some cases it can block the red light that comes right through there. So as part of your daily process, just making sure you're getting under there and you're wiping off your, your uh, laser nozzle and you're actually cleaning your lens too. So clean optics, clean nozzle will help your laser run efficiently every single day.